Today we are going to discuss the wetlands and outlying marsh areas of the American Southeast. What is this, Sherlock Hemlock? The rich ecosystem therein. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And of particular interest, the wildlife. Notably, the talking banjo playing frogs. Oh good. <laughs> That's right. Michelle, today we're stumbling through watercolor with Kermit the Frog. I suspected as much. I bet. I didn't remember us filming a nature documentary. Well, we didn't. And I see you're using color pencil. Yeah, and it's not going to be an ink drawing this time that I finish with watercolor. Okay. I'm laying back a bit with the lines and using colored pencil. And I assume you'll list your tools and materials in the info? You assume correctly. As usual with this stumbling through watercolor series, yeah. I'm trying to teach myself the basics of watercolor painting, mm -hmm. mostly through trial and error. And I'm doing it not in the relative secrecy of my dank, shadowy basement studio, <laughs> right. but online here in the broad light of day where everyone can watch and learn from my stupid mistakes. <laughs> well, I think there's been some progress since you started these. Possibly. And I made a playlist of all these so far. Good. And I see you picked a very wet subject this time. Yeah, you know, water seems like a natural subject for watercolors. Oh, yeah. But to me, it's always seemed tricky. Right, all the light and reflections yeah. and things. Yeah, so I wanted to give it a try, see what I could learn by doing, you know, because practice makes progress. Yeah, it does. And who better to help me do that than our old friend, he makes being green look easy, <laughs> Kermit the Frog. He does make it look easy. Yeah. But I know it's not. Can't be. And also, let's not forget his nephew, Robin. How could I? How could you? So the last thing you stumbled through mm. was also a frog. Frog Thor. Throg. Throg. Or was it Puddle Gulp? Yeah. Well, for that one, mm -hmm. I wanted to figure out how to do those warm, late afternoon skies where there's some blue and some white of the clouds, Okay. but also some earthy orange tones. Yeah, I like I, that one. It turned yeah. out pretty good, I think. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. It's just another step in the learning process. But with this Kermit, like I said, I really wanted to try to get a better grip on how to paint water, mm. uh, specifically water with reflections and light shining on the surface. So do you have a plan? Is there uh, a process you're trying to uh, follow? Kind of. Okay. I did the bare minimum amount of research and there seems to be at least a couple different ways of doing this and uh -huh. one of them is wet into wet and the other is wet into dry okay. now wet into wet is for me personally at this stage of my development it's like uh, it feels like i'm hanging off the side of a runaway train oh, no. like like i'm on the the bus from speed oh. and i just got to keep Slopping on the paint and the water uh -huh. and blending it and, and blotting it. And, and if I slow down for just a second, if I dip beneath, what was it, 55 miles an hour, right. yes. uh, I ruin the painting and I blow up Sandra Bullock. So, oh, no. you know, it's just too frantic for me. So I'm guessing that's not the method you no, chose. No, no, no. I went with like a wet into dry method. Okay. And it's still a little tricky for me because I'm not always mindful of leaving the white of the paper. Oh. I tend to want to lay down a bed of color first like I do when I color digitally. Oh, because you can just add in white on top of that. Right, yeah, but with watercolor, you kind of have to plan ahead. You want to leave the white of the paper mm -hmm. where the sun is glinting off the surface of things. Well, it looks like you managed. Eh, I, I didn't do too bad. Okay, yeah. But I'm, I'm going to let that layer dry, and I'm going to go back in later with reflections, and, you know, that's a whole other thing. Hey, have you ever seen the movie Kermit... The Swamp Years? Oh, jeez. I think it's a called. A very long time ago. Right. Years. I don't remember much of it, though. Okay. I think it might have been me just buying anything that was Muppets at the okay. time. I can't remember if it All was right. good well, or not. I, the reason I ask is, you, do you know whose kid Robin is? Oh, like, do you know if Kermit has a brother or a sister? Or something? Let me... I'm actually looking it up right now. All right. The Muppet Wiki. Huh. All right. Voiced by Jerry Nelson. Yeah. Frank Oz did the puppetry. Oh, okay. Uh, Meanwhile, see. we're just recording dead uh, air. I'm trying to find it's it. It's literally not <laughs> life or death. I was just curious. Okay, well, it just says that Kermit is his uncle. Okay, I, I knew don't, that. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember hearing any uh, about any sisters or brothers. All right, well, we might need to crowdsource it. Okay. Does anybody know <laughs> who Robin's parents are? Yeah, right. It put it in the comments, I guess. <laughs> is it possible one of our listeners is Robin's mom or dad? Wow. Scandalous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what an accusation you're I making. Know, right? I'll, I'll go with it, though. Okay. <laughs> Are you Robin's father? 
Leave a comment. <laughs> right? When was the last time you saw the boy? Are you aware uh, he almost died of the oh consumption gosh, in did. the Muppet Christmas Carol? Yes. What do you got to say for yourself? <laughs> this is scandalous. It is. And here I thought this was going to be a pleasant trip no. to the swamp. Oh, no. Far <laughs> from it. Oh, okay. Here we go. The reflections. I don't have many words of wisdom here, but I'll okay. say this. You only paint in the reflections where there's already color. Where there's already color. Where there's already color. Like okay. For me, it was very tempting to paint the entire length of the reflection of the swamp grass just straight down beneath the swamp grass, right, right. over the part of the paper I left white Okay. to indicate the light reflection on the water. But yeah. you got to leave the white for the effect to work. Makes sense. Right. This looks pretty good. It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. It's my first time trying this, but I think it worked. It does. And here, again, I don't have a lot to say about laying down green. Uh -huh. uh, I did try to mix the colors so that it was lighter, warmer greens for the highlights, cooler, darker greens for the shadows, oh, yeah. as you do. Oh, the, oh, the collar. Yeah. I have some Kermit collar trivia that I wanted to share with you. I'm not sure if you know oh, this. Oh, good. I'm always up for some Kermit trivia. Good. All right. Well, <laughs> so you probably know that Kermit didn't have that collar in the very early iterations of the Muppet. Oh, that, right. That because early on, I'm not sure he was officially a frog yet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, but, Michelle, did yeah. you know that the first time he got a collar, it was just the orange collar of a little, uh, like a medieval huh. minstrel's costume. Oh, really? That he was wearing in a skit. It was a show called The Tales of Tinker D, I think. Okay. And did you know that the first season of Sesame Street, uh huh. This is important, actually, because you saw a photo of him recently and you asked about this specifically. During the first season of Sesame Street, Kermit had two collars. <laughs> One on top of the other. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I saw that picture and uh -huh. I thought it was a mistake. Uh -huh, right. Huh. But that's not all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. Because uh -huh. this was news to me. Okay. So maybe it'll be news to you and other people. I don't know. Yeah. Kermit's collar is not part of his anatomy. What? Is it clothing? Apparently so. <laughs> he wears it, you know, oh and he wore gosh. a smaller one. When he was a kid, uh -huh. and here it is coming back to haunt you, as seen in Kermit the Swamp Years. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I knew I should have paid better attention you to that movie. You should have. So it's not part of his body. <laughs> oh, my. This is scandalous. Oh, yes. So, yeah. So there's some Kermit trivia. Wow. I'm. It's just one scandal it after really, another today. It really is. <laughs> Oh, okay. Here's another opportunity to talk about leaving the white of the page, okay. which I need to improve on. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know how I was going to do the strings of the banjo. Uh -huh. I thought about colored pencil. Okay. You know, and I think that might have worked okay. Right. But in the end, I thought it might be nice to just leave the white of the paper to represent the strings and the frets and the inlays I on like the it. banjo. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I think I painted in some faint gray over the body of the instrument uh -huh. so that the lines continued. Uh, this was tricky for me, but I'm happy with the outcome. No, I like it. Oh, and after the watercolor was down, mm -hmm. I just went back in and redrew some of the lines with colored pencil. Okay. You know, I just shored things up. I just mm -hmm. made, made sure there was a clarity to the shapes. Up close, it might look a little heavy-handed. Okay. But when you step back from the piece, it makes sense in context. Okay, well, let's step back from it All right. then and see what it looks like. All right. All right, so while the camera pans around the image, mm -hmm. let's do a quick review of what we've learned today. Okay. Painting light, glinting on the water, sometimes means leaving the white of the paper. Okay, good tip, mm -hmm. solid tip. Mm -hmm. Here's another. Kermit mm -hmm. is mostly naked, <laughs> uh, but chooses, for some reason, to wear a jester's <laughs> collar. So weird. It's odd. I mean, I like it. Bold choice. It's, yeah. He's an icon. I'm not going to question it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not sure I really covered this, but you can see it here that uh, reflections in the water uh, are often softer, low saturation, flipped versions of what's above the water. That's a good one. Yeah. Also, Kermit's nephew, Robin, mm -hmm. may or may not have been abandoned by his parents. Wow. We're not sure. Well, they left him 
they left him in the care of his funkle, frankly. Right. <laughs> Kermit's his funkle, and yes. that's acceptable in this case. Uh-huh. Kermit is a talented musician. Right. He's an actor. Yes. Uh, hosts a TV show. Right. If, <laughs> if I were Robin, I'd have run away to live with my funkle. Right? Or maybe Robin's parents died. Oh, my God. What? How could you? How are you, you going to just throw a shroud over this lovely peaceful scene we just painted what is wrong with you what is wrong with you i don't know i don't know either but whatever it is i like it i like the cut of your jib 